hi you guys it's kanisha harris and welcome back to my channel hi you guys today i'm doing a quick makeup video to show you how i do my makeup with the short haircut so of course first i'm starting with the eyebrows using the anastasia beverly hills dip brow pomade in the color ebony and this is a clear gel that i use for my brows to set my brows in place and to blend everything out i actually I'm almost out of this. I end up getting it at a Walmart. I think it's a Maybelline brand. Don't feel like putting makeup on my cheeks. Do I am slow on the curve of trying Born This Way concealer, but I finally have got on it. So this is the color. I think this is butterscotch. If it's not butterscotch, it's the color caramel. I think I did caramel up underneath and above my brows. I'm going to go in with butterscotch. I actually really like it. It took me to run out of my favorite concealer to pick it up and use it. I purchased it like a year ago. Don't do me. It's okay. So I'm actually going to use this to, um, I actually use the applicator to line up underneath my brows because I didn't feel like looking for my concealer brush and I was rushing. I got this whole makeup video done in 30 minutes. So that's a plus for me. It usually takes me longer. So I'm just going to put that all over my lid up underneath my cheeks and then go above my brows with the other color and blend it out. So I'm using a Real Tex Techniques brush to blend it out. And I'm going to go in with a beauty blender later but i like the way the real technique brush you um works just tap it in and blend it down until it has a smooth finish and it doesn't look cakey what i want love every single part of my body top to the bottom i'm not a supermodel from a magazine mm -mm. I'm okay with not being perfect Cause that's perfect to me Cause that's perfect to me Cause that's perfect to me No matter where I go, everybody stares at me Not into fancy clothes, I'm rocking baggy jeans Getting too close for comfort, but comfort is what I need So I eat my body weight in chocolate and ice cream Maybe I buy my nails and don't think be Okay, now I'm going in with the Born This Way foundation and putting it all over the outer corners of my face. This is my first time using this. I was scared because it was looking a little orange, but it ended up turning out fine so it does oxidize a little bit darker which worked great for me so i'm gonna put that all over and then blend it out with a beauty blender of course before i speak don't fit in any crowd don't ever get much sleep i wish my legs were bigger bigger than new york city Makeup on my cheeks, do what I wanna love every single part of my body. Top two. Okay, so I end up concealing again and highlighting over <laughs> the concealer I had already put on just because my eyes have been a little dark lately. I have not been taking in enough water and magnesium. This is caramel by NARS or Source de Gorge. It's one of those that I end up using by NARS on top of the Born This Way concealer to just brighten it up some. And I'm gonna blend that out with a beauty blender. And the setting powder that I use is by Maybelline Fit Me in the color 30. I think I used the color 30. That's my favorite one. And then I end up going in with a darker one to do my contour instead of using a bronzer or a contour like a darker foundation shade powder i actually used the translucent powder this time and i like how it turned out but you'll see in the second how that goes the bottom, 
I'm not a supermodel from a magazine, no I'm okay with not being perfect Cause that's perfect to me Sometimes I wake up late and don't even brush my teeth Ugh. Just wanna stuff my face with leftover mac and cheese You know I get depressed, are you impressed with my honesty? So I wear what I wanna cause I'm cool with what's underneath mm. I wanna kiss someone that I'll never see again To go and see Eminem Cause my sister's been in love with him since like we were ten Don't feel like putting makeup on my cheeks Do Okay, now I'm going over my whole entire face with I think it's 365 is the shade by Maybelline Fit Me and their press um press powder and just going in and setting my whole entire face. My favorite favorite um blush is by juvia's place and it's the color bella so now i'm using my very own eyeshadow palette the vixen eyeshadow palette in the color tees all over my lid i just use one color for this look this eyeshadow palette is available on my website link below in the description I'm going in now with ColourPop. This is a ColourPop pencil. I cannot remember the name of it. I end up using it and realizing how light it was. So then I'm going to go over with a dark brown pencil to change it up just a little bit. This lip combination, you guys, was gorgeous in the end. But I tested a lot of different products. <laughs> I used the, lip, the liquid lipstick by Carity. And one by House of Flawless called Wedding Day. This is my absolute favorite. It's a light pink. And another one by Huda Beauty. So it was just a whole conglomerate of lippies on this lip. Do what I want. Love every single part of my body. Top to the bottom. I'm not a supermodel from a magazine. I'm okay with not being perfect Cause that's perfect to me That's perfect to me That's perfect to me Okay, you guys, I'm going in with Champagne Pop by Becca. It's my favorite highlight to do my highlight in the inner tear ducts and on my cheekbones, my nose, and above my lip. And then I'm going to go in with a, eyeliner, a liquid eyeliner and bring out my moles and put on some mascara. I end up doing lashes off camera so the final picture and the picture of the start of this video will be with some ardell wispy lashes it's an oldie but a goodie i feel like it gives a good natural look when you don't want the dramatics that's perfect to me Okay, you guys, now I'm using a brow tint mascara on the weak spots where I have bald in it on my side. So I'm filling it in with that. And I like how it looks because it makes it look more hair-like. So I just wanted to add this in. This was by Mello. I had got this in one of the subscriptions boxes that I've subscribed to in the past. And I just had it sitting in the drawer. And I was like, huh, let me try this. So it's a really dark brown. And I feel like it looks better than using a regular mascara or a black mascara. Because my hair isn't jet black. So this is it, you guys. Thank you so very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe to the Vixen Tribe. Smash that like button and comment below what you think of this makeup look. Bye.